Hello, dear friends. Good morning. Good uh, good weekend. Good uh, Saturday morning. And uh, today's outfit of the day, I bought a new uh, some new clothing. So I will do an outfit of the day so that if you want to see the outfit of the day, you can see it. And then I will do some blah, blah, blah. And on top is this jersey um, turtleneck. I usually do not like to wear turtleneck because it, it is just uh, uh, when it is cold, uh, you wear it, but if weather change, it's just not so comfortable and uh, stuck here, you feel suffocating, but uh, I feel sometimes you just need a change. And uh, these jeans is, um, is medium waist jean and the flare, and uh, I feel it is so long. And if I cannot wear, I'm relatively not so short, I'm five, I'm relatively not so short. If I wear long, I think there is some problem with the design. It may be too long. I have to wear high heel shoes to wear heels. And um, just take a look. You will make the jacket a little bit too long. The camera may get quite blend, blind. So this is the crown. Oh, I should wear a... It's just a, a perfect fit, right? Perfect. Perfect fit. So I do not even near to, need to wear a, a belt. I will find a, a, a gym belt. And quite, uh, uh, and it is stretchy, thin and wide. And this makes me think when we were young in China, this is the capitalist style of, uh, of strength clothing. It's a little bit too long. I do not like clothes being so long. So again, whatever we wear is not important. And uh, let me continue with my sauce, with my blah, blah, blah. And the good thing about weekend is uh, that we, we get close to ourself. And, uh, but uh, our life is composed of happiness and, and uh, sometimes disappointment. Maybe this disappointment comes from the things that we cannot do, we cannot handle. 
maybe this disappointment comes from the people we love the most, we are the most close to. And, uh, and that is the frustrating part. And um, if our problem caused by people we do not care that much or very far away, and we can distance ourselves from those, uh, those feelings, okay, it does not have anything to do with my life. But sometimes when the problem, when the disagreement comes from the people you really love, you really very close to your family, it becomes very, very frustrating and becomes very, very, you cannot handle it. And, um, and uh, you get stuck into it. I think we all have these moments or these uh, particular um, time that we cannot get ourselves. We get into a very narrow, dark tunnel and we cannot find a way out. We cannot find the light at the end of the tunnel. It's, it's just a small moment, moment that we cannot handle this. Imagine we as an individual, another person, no matter this person, is your family, your, your very close friend, your very significant other, no matter what, it, what that person may be, we have our unique individual life. And oftentimes, because we have the same opinion or we hold the same faith, we hold the same believing, so we are together, we have the same way of living. But at times there will be conflicts or there will be difference and this difference can become so that's that difference makes us so down and cannot overcome become so frustrated so sad and so dis uh, disappointed and uh, disbelief and uh, despair. It's just a moment. Think about long term. You will get, you will get over it. So do not linger around in those uh, uh, unhealthy, those uh, unproductive thoughts and make sure that uh, you have the ability to wake up, to wake up from an not positive thoughts and uh, learn to learn to forgive learn to understand we are different i am different from another person no matter how close this person is to us we are different and uh, we have to appreciate other people's idea maybe i can tell a story there was, uh, what, there was one chief editor and uh, an internship journalist, an internship reporter. The two of them visited one renowned artist. And they went to the renowned artist's house. And uh, the artist, he was, uh, he's uh, an old, 70 years, 80 years old man, and he was single, and uh, he, he lived in a very small, simple house, and the house was all a mess, with uh, instant noodle everywhere, with cigarette butts everywhere, and, uh, and paper piles of paper and brush and paints everywhere. And uh, the chief editor and uh, the intern journalist, intern reporter, they went to his house to do a report and they could not even find a place to sit. And the house was so messy and there were cockroaches or something. Anyway, <clears throat> it was just so, so, so dirty, so filthy, you can use the word, so dirty. And then the intern and the chief editor had, had to move something, had to move something, uh, move away things so that they could, they could see it. 
and they had that interview. And this artist, he is a very open-minded and very pr productive, very creati creative. It was a wonderful report. And at the end of the day, at the end of the reporting, at the end of the interview, the um, chief editor and uh, the intern left. It was about to leave. I have my grammar all messed up, I'm sorry. And then the artist asked, could you please move the things back so that I can find my things? And the chief editor moved everything back, and the intern moved everything back, but the intern was very, very angry. And he went out, he said, what a messy life. How could people live in such a messy life? And then the chief editor, who, has, who was very experienced, have seen, had seen a lot of different people, different way of life, said, what we believe is right may not be right for another person. What we think is wrong may not be wrong for another person. So learn to accept another people's way of life. And it also makes me to think, in my art class, I do, um, it's really a very profound thought. What we think right may not be right. It's just a different way of living, different way of thinking. And this person, this difference can come from the people far away and can come from the people who is just close to you, next to you. There is a difference. And learn to accept, learn to swallow the difference. Sometimes you even have to give up your, give up your dignity, no, give up your pride to accept that difference. Sometimes it's easy to say, sometimes it's not, and oftentimes it's very hard to do, and uh, we have to do it to keep on living, keep on, up, keep on with our life. And one day in art class, we do Chinese painting. There was one student came to me and said, I don't want to do Chinese painting. We have done it yesterday, last year. I said, we have done it on the first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and middle school, a middle, a fifth grade, middle school. Every year we do it, and artists, has done it many years and they keep doing to improve. And uh, why not you do it? He said, I just want, don't want to do it. And uh, it was really a very awkward situation. I said, if you do not want to do it, you write letters. And he said, okay, I will write letters. So the whole class, he wrote 100 times a certain letter and he did not want to do it. And um, <clears throat> I was feeling as a teacher, as I feel the sense of fail and as a sense of I could not do anything and he, he conquered me and I felt that I was just completely loser in front of this situation. Every student, most of the students said, okay, I like to do Chinese painting and I can feel that not everybody likes to do repetitively doing the same thing and uh, that student stands out and he gave me a valid, a legit reason. At the beginning, I could not accept it. And now, thinking about it, I could accept. It's just a different way of thinking. For me, something is important. For him, something is not that important. And for me, something is right. For him, that was wrong. And uh, so he kept writing the letters. He wrote two pages about uh, one, two, 20 or 30 times. And I felt there is an empathy in my heart and said, okay, you don't need to write it. You do whatever you like. You can do a free drawing. You can do something else. You know what happened? He came to me. I want to write. 
and I enjoy writing. He didn't say enjoy writing. He didn't say it's quite uh, loose. He's proud if uh, say I enjoy writing, right? He said no, I want to write. So he kept writing a hundred times and maybe more than a hundred times. It was one of his most happy time actually. He could just find the mechanism of writing, find a particular tap pattern or trick or way of writing those particular several words. And my class was quiet because other people quietly doing their things. They finished practicing Chinese painting, then they practice other things. So there was a conflict and this conflict has turned itself into a very productive learning experience for me to begin with, for me, and for everybody involved. At that time, I did not hear the story about the chief editor and, uh, and the intern uh, journalist. I just uh, thought that it's not right that I force people to do if they really do not want to do. There are some students, just uh, some people just uh, reject everything. How, how about we do a Chinese painting? No, I don't want to do. How about we do oil pastel? No, I do not want to do. How we do free drawing? No, I do not want to do. There are people just uh, just uh, want to reject any anything what what we have said, what other people told them, or from a particular person. I remember when I, young, when I was young, I said, whatever mother said, my mom said was wrong. I was so ashamed. But we all experienced that rebellious time. And that's how we grown up. That's how we grow up. We have hurt other people. We have done wrong things, wrong things, and we learned from that. And now I am a mother. I have teenager boys, and I am getting what I have done back. It's all turned back to me. I got the revenge. What I have said, I have done to hurt my parents haunted back to me. <laughs> anyway, so accept people's difference. Accept other people's idea and respect them. It is hard to swallow, very hard. But once you swallow it and you open your heart and sink on top of it in a higher level, it is a very small thing, very small thing. And you are much higher than that. So this is the outfit of the day, uh, with plus some philosophical <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You have a wonderful weekend, long weekend. This is the time that we close to our heart. We get close to our heart. We have the freedom to do the things we love. Let be. Live and let live. And uh, I have talked too much. Bye bye, friends. Be happy every day. Be silly every day. And be yourself and let other people be themselves.